New drugs now are emerging and they're also effective. So uh, a new oral proteasome inhibitor, Ixazomib, the data of a phase one, two studies has been just uh, published in blood, showing that is extremely effective, is very well tolerated, it is an oral drug, very well tolerated, and uh, um, it can provide an excellent response rate even in relapsed refractory patient, achieving an organ response in almost half of the patient. So this drug looks extremely promising. Another very interesting drug is immunotherapy, such as daratumumab. So the, this anti-CD38 antibody, as shown in preliminary data from the Mayo Clinic and from the Stanford group, again recently published, outstanding result in this patient population. So we believe that this drug can be moved up front and they are going really to change the face of this disease. In addition to these drugs, now we have antibodies targeting the amyloid deposits. And now we have at least three of these antibodies in the clinic already. So the first antibody has been developed by uh, Sir Mark Pepe's group in London, and is targeting a, a molecule that is present in all types of amyloid, that is SAP. And uh, preliminary data show very encouraging results. A second antibody is developed by a company, Proteina, and data has been presented this morning here. And again, this is extremely well-tolerated antibody and showed impressive good organ response. And two control trials has now be concluded with this antibody. So there's a lot of expectation with this antibody, particularly because we think that they can accelerate the recovery of the organ function. And the third antibody is a little uh, more premature this has been developed by Dr. Solomon, and this targeting again the amyloid deposit has been tested by at Columbia University, but in a much smaller group of patients. So is many new happenings are going on in the field. We believe that now curing this disease is a concrete hope based on this data.